I'm Steve Brzezinski, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the Movie Picks Guides to Movie Studio Platinum and DVD Architect Studio. And welcome to part seven of our eight-part series we're calling Basic Training with Sony Movie Studio. We have a nice little movie going here. We have a movie that we've uh, created by adding a bunch of media clips to our timeline. We've also uh, added some music and some narration. But all we need to finish this up is some titles. And those are easy enough to add. Now, there are a couple of ways to add titles to your video. The most common way and the easiest way is to use the media generators. Media generators are in this tabbed interface here in the upper left corner. I'm just going to widen this out. You can see one of the tabs here is media generators. Now, among the media generators are patterns. We've got some color gradients some solid colors, and we've got some textures. In addition, there are some title media generators. Now, there are three basic title generators that come by default with a program, but if you have additional plugins from New Blue or from HitFilm, you may have some additional media generators that show up in here uh, for creating your titles. But let's just look at the three basic ones. You notice one is called Legacy Text. Legacy, as you might assume, is, means that it's a pretty primitive title maker left over from the early days of Sony Movie Studio. There's a Titles and Text, which is a basic tool for creating animated titles. And then we've got our credit roll for, as you might expect, creating a credit roll, an animated credit roll across your screen, or up and down on your screen, or left to right, however you've got it programmed. Take a look at Legacy Text first. And we'll just drag one of the legacy text down here to the timeline. And when we do, we get our media generator option panel. And in this, we have some sample text. I'm just going to type over it, the Grand Canyon. And if you look at my preview window, you notice it's pretty big, way off the screen here. So I'm going to select all and bring down the font here to about, I don't know, 48. That's small enough to fit in there. Hey, one thing I highly recommend, whenever you're working with titles or subtitles in your movie, always work with your overlays turned on. Now, there are a couple of overlays available here. You want to select Safe Overlays. Just click on this little checkerboard, and you'll get these two boxes over your screen. Now, the outer box is called a Content Safe Area, and the inner box is your Title Safe Area. Make sure your titles are always small enough to fit inside that inner box. So I'm going to bring the font down a little more. There we go. This will keep it from being cut off. Some TVs, even modern televisions, big flat screens, still cut off a little bit of the picture. And you don't want to lose part of your title. So always make sure that your title stays within those safe boundaries here. Now in the Media Generators tab, you'll find a number of presets. By the way, in the Media Generators window, you'll notice that you also have a number of presets. These presets are identical to the list available inside the Option Panel. But do notice one thing, if you apply one of those presets, say for instance, Soft Shadow, notice that it overwrites your text. So you may want to select your preset before you type in the name of your text. You also have options for some basic things, obviously the font that you can choose here, how it's placed, in other words, where it sits in your window, properties like its color, whether or not it has an opaque or a transparent background, and if it's an opaque background, what color that background is, and then there are some effects you can add to it too. This is, like I say, the legacy. This is very simple, very basic idle creation. So let's remove that one from our timeline. And we'll take a look at titles and text. These are a little more advanced. And once again, you notice you have a number of presets that are previewed here in the preset window of your media generators. Doesn't matter which one you choose, you still have the option once it's on the timeline of selecting any of those from the preset menu. Most of these are animated. For instance, Earthquake, as you might expect, vibrates the letters like they're in an earthquake. Coming at you, makes it look like the letters are sort of flying in at you from a distance. There are pop-ups. There are things like fly in one letter at a time or one word at a time. There's some that twist in. These are very, very cool effects. But once again, you do want to choose your effect before you type. Otherwise, it's going to overwrite your type. I'm going to call this again. And when I do that, I now have an animation. I'm going to move this off the screen here for a second just so I can scrub through here. Hold down Shift and Alt so I don't hear the sound. And you can see the effect there. The letters are rolling in from the right one letter at a time. Kind of a cool animation. Let's delete that. Finally, the credit roll. Now, the credit roll is, once again, you got a number of templates and presets. We'll just drag it down here. And this one has a black background, so it's an opaque background. We can change that if we'd like. And you can see that you have three different styles. And one of them is title text. That's usually a heavier, bolder one that sits in the center of the screen. Sub-item text, 
which is the lighter text that goes through the middle of the screen. Item left, item right. You can change any one of these. If you don't want to go left, right, left, right, you can change these all to sub items like that. And you can change the styles too. So for instance, if I want the title text to be a little different, I can select it here, go into the styles tab, and I can increase or decrease the amount of space above or below it. I can change its color, change its font. There are some very powerful titling tools built into Movie Studio Platinum. Even more if you have some additional title plugins from New Blue or HitFilm or from any of the other uh, companies out there like Red Giant that are making these. If you've got those installed in the program, you have even more options for creating your titles. Now, come back with me, I hope, for part eight. The final wrap up here for our basic training with Sony Movie Studio. Hope you'll join me. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for being with me. We'll see you again in part eight.